What's up, everybody? It's Friday. I'm back. Got my espresso. Um, starting off today with a brand new track. It came out yesterday. Obviously, I didn't get to it yesterday because it came out last night. Um, but there is a new 021G song. I am pretty confident. I know what it's about. Um, what with uh, the current situation in Iran. So, I, you know, I want to... I want to show it. I want to do what I can to promote these kinds of things to get, you know, attention uh, to people. So, uh, the song is called Indafe, um, or Indafe. I, I think that's different than Dafa. Um, we'll get into it in just a second. Before I do, a few things. Like and subscribe. Helps me out, obviously. You know, I appreciate it. Um, I'm not an expert, and I don't speak Farsi. So, you know, I'm gonna miss some content more than likely. Uh, I I do have a have a pretty strong feeling that I know what the song is about, but like I said, I don't. I'm not gonna really be able to follow the words. Um, and finally, don't be a dick. That's my number one rule on the channel. Uh, I don't I don't mind if you don't like the song or if you don't like me. Those things are fine. Um, but I would like to keep it a friendly place for people. Um, so that they can come in, get in the comments, and not get worried about uh, about having people be mean to them. So, hasn't been an issue so far. People have been very positive and friendly, um, and I appreciate that. So let's just keep it that way. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. This is 021G with Indafe. لاغرم بزن میخوام همه شد باتون باشه باورم من یه دختر با موهای تا کمر با شاتکام بیا من با زوکای باورم سخته ولی ما ساده میگیریم تا شگه یه روز بمیریم اما زاده میمیریم دیگه از این فازا نمیگیریم اگه کشتن دینه شما سماها که بیدینیم با جیب خالی هنو جیر خاری از این آزام که رد بشه دوامی نداری چون من میام با سازادی و هر روی قراری ولی اتو میگیرن یه مشه رو میسواری بزن محکم توی سر و صورتم ولی دیگه نمیتونی کنی حرف تو کتم من یه ایمان قوی ساختم از خشونتم پس میجنگم تا بگیرم جشن تو وطن دشمن توی خونمه و اونی که میپیچه تو بینیم بوی خونمه ولی تو میترسی منو دستای خالی تا موهایی که جارو سری روی شونمه این دفعه ماتیکا پاک شد خونه دستامو روی ناخونا لاک شد این دفعه پاشنه ها در اومد همه مشتامو رو به پولیس ها فاک شد این دفعه فرداره این دفعه پاش خون دادیم دیر و زود داره سوخت و سوز نه سردار ما جوون دادیم این دفعه فرداره اینجا ایرانه یه گربه یه هفت هزار ساله که زنده نیست ست سا با نفت خام اینجا یه مش سرباز داره جون بکر که شبارون میخوابم بعد قصه هم دیگه خوب به تازون بچه توفنگ دادن دستت بزن جای عشق خون بیاد از چشم اینجا بومبست تش یعنی خوشوقتی پشم یه روز جا میمونه روز صورت درد پام تا اون روز دیگه راهی نیست به ترس از روزایی که هیچ جای فراری نیست به ترس از اون روزی که توی قلبمون دیگه ترسی از زخمای کاری نیست به ترس تا اون روز دیگه راهی نیست به ترس از روزایی که هیچ جای فراری نیست به ترس از اون روزی که توی قلبمون دیگه ترسی از زخمای کاری نیست به ترس این دفعه فرق داره اوکی سو بیسد اون دی سابتایتلز ام پیکینگ اپ دت اندافه is in time, this time. Um, right, so the song's called This Time. Because, so a little bit of history. And bear in mind, I'm not a, I, I do like history. I really actually do like history a lot. Um, but the history I tend to get into is like 3,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago. I really like like Bronze Age, um, Stone Age stuff, right? Invention of writing kind of history. But I do know a little bit about the history of Iran in the last 50 years or so. They've had revolutions of a sort, right? They've had protests. They've had people in the streets for various things. Even in, even in the last like five years, there have been sizable protests, um, big enough that the government shut down the internet. But this time, 
as the song says, it does seem to be different. It, it, it seems to be that what happened to uh, Gina Mashalamini was the breaking point. And we'll, we'll find out. I mean, we don't... This is, this is sort of hopeful, right? This is wish casting a little bit. Because what I'm hoping for is that it was a breaking point. But based on what I've seen so far, based on what's been going on, it does seem like people are people are legitimately done this time, um, which is both good and bad, right? It's good because you, you might be able to get some get some progress, right? You might be able to change some laws, maybe maybe even replace the political regime, possibly, um, which would it would come with its own problems but it would probably be a net good. But on the other hand, people are dying, right? What's happening is <clears throat> you don't get to a point of revolution in a country until people are no longer afraid of the standard punishment, right? In America, okay? Let's say we wanted to have a revolution in America, All right? Overthrow the government, install, <laughs> install a communist like Elizabeth Warren. Um, no, I mean, let's just say, right? Let's just say that there was an actual upswell where the people decided we're going to we're going to revolt. The reason people don't do that is because, well, what if I go to jail? I'm going to lose my job. I'm not going to be able to, you know, go to work while I'm in jail. I might lose my home. Uh, it's going to hurt my ability to get new jobs in the future. Right, I've got a lot of stuff going on. I don't want to risk getting beat up by police. And these are all fair, okay? I'm not saying that nobody should feel this way. I'm just saying these are the things that slow you down when you're talking about are we going to have a revolution? And it's both, again, it's it's a little bit of both, right? It's it's kind of a, it's kind of a, nice to see when people get to the point where it's like, it's, Whatever is happening now, it is worth risking everything in my whole life, physical or just, you know, material. Um, it's worth risking my life for to, to try to change it. You, until you get to that point where the consequences of your actions are, are no longer a concern to you, y you will not have a successful revolution. You just won't. Because they'll be arresting people, they'll put people in jail, they'll abuse people, they'll beat people, they'll kill people. They killed people in the U.S. in 2020. I mean, people don't really talk about that a whole lot. But people did die. There was a guy who got straight up executed by, like, a SWAT team. Um, so you don't have revolution until you have people who are ready to just risk everything. And the problem with that is that when you risk everything, sometimes you don't win. And, and that's very sad, right? So it's, I'm very excited for the people of Iran. I, I'm hopeful that there will be positive change and that this killing of this woman is enough, right? They, th there are a lot more people than there are cops in Iran, even though there are a lot of cops. <clears throat> and the women of the country are so fucking brave. Right? The men, I mean, what are you risking if you're a man? Not much. I mean, you might be risking getting beat up by police. But the women who are, you know, not, not wearing hijab, who are talking back to the clerics, who are in the streets, they are, they are behaving in a heroic fashion. And some of them are getting killed. I have heard reports of children, um, you know, like seven, eight years old getting killed in these protests. I don't, I, I can't verify those. But I, there are plenty of people who have died that you can verify. Um, a revolution is a messy thing. Even if it succeeds. Even if, even if it succeeds, it's very messy. And people will be hurt. People will die. People will lose their livelihoods. So I don't, I don't look at a revolution with glee, 
right? It's not, it's, not a, it's not a happy thing. It's not a cheerful thing. It's a very serious thing. And I say this all the time. I say this in all my videos. Uh, well, I do this in all my videos that I, that I talk about Iran. You know, my, my, my thoughts, my, my heart is with the people who, the, who are in the streets, the, the poor, the people who are being oppressed, you know, religiously or uh, because of their gender or because of their sexuality or whatever it is, right? Those are the people that I am with. And those are the people who have my attention and my support. Um, and I hope that this is fast. I hope that this is over quickly with a minimal uh, um, loss of life, minimal, you know, destruction of, uh, of people's lives. Because again, it's not just dying. Like, that's bad. But also, your whole life could get just blown up, right? You lose your home, you lose your job, you lose your family. I, I just hope it's over quick. And I hope that there are positive outcomes um, for the people of Iran. Now, all that, all that preaching aside, I like the song. It's a good song. Again, it's hard for me to get to, like, let's break this down. Because this, is a, this song is serious. The song is about a serious thing that's happening right now and people who are being killed right now. So it, it's hard for me to be like, well, you know, here's what I like about the wordplay because it doesn't really feel appropriate. Um, I do like the song. I like the beat. Um, it sounds good in Farsi. The lyrics I could follow, right, in, when they're in subtitles. Um, if they're good. I, 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 do, I do like 021G. I think she's... Uh, very talented, but I, I just, you know, I just wanted to get that out. Um, so, yeah, uh, free Iran. You know, that's that's kind of my my position on it right now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, everybody. Stay safe. Uh, if you are in the protests, or if you know people who are, leave your phone at home. Wear a mask. Bring water with you to rinse out your eyes. Um, it's very good for dealing with tear gas. And uh, live to fight another day. Anyway, drink lots of water and be nice to each other. And do not talk to cops. <laughs>